biggest GPU ever. Not necessarily launched, it's, it's gone to the production. This is a new chip called Grace Hopper. It's an architecture combining their CPU and GPU and it can offer up to 96 GB of GPU memory and 480 GB of CPU memory. This is like massive, massive amount of memory in one single unit. It's not a supercomputer, it's not a distributed computer. They're calling it super chip. So in this video, I would like to just quickly share the news about this and then see what you feel about it. And their primary audience here is HPC, high performance computing and also generative AI, um, artificial intelligence. So Nvidia Grace Hopper, super chip, the breakthrough accelerated CPU for giant scale AI and HPC application. And if you take a look at this super chip, it's a combination of Grace and Hopper. That's why you see two trademarks here, Grace and Hopper. So what's this combination doing here is it's a CPU plus GPU specifically designed for this particular purpose. And the greatest thing about this GPU or this unit, the super chip unit is it can offer up to 900 GB per second of coherent interface. So 900 GB per second. And this is like seven times faster than the PCA existing PCA. And this is again another massive aspect. If you would like to quickly look at the architecture here, you can see that they've got the CPU and they've got the GPU. I think CPU's name is called Grace and the GPU is Hopper. And you can see up to 480 GPU CPU memory and up to 96 GPU memory, 96 gigabytes GPU memory. And it has all been bridged by NVIDIA's NVLink C2C. And this is the speed that we just spoke about, like the PCI speed. And one important aspect of this, at least like for our audience, primarily for AI, if you see, it has got a new fourth generation tensor core that performs faster matrix computations than ever before. Now, why is it important for AI? So most of the AI inference, I'm not talking about training, I'm talking about inference. Most of the machine learning, deep learning AI inference is matrix multiplication, matrix computation. It's basically you take a bunch of matrix and then try to multiply them. The faster you can do, the faster you can have inference. And that is why this is so critical and important because now with this Grace Hopper GPU, you can probably have much, much faster inference without making any changes to your deep learning or AI architecture. But if you ask me, oh, is it only going to benefit inference? No, the new transformer engine enables H100, the GPU, to deliver up to nine times faster AI training and also the 30 times faster AI inference compared to the previous GPU generation. So it doesn't only help in your AI inference, it also helps you in AI training and that's exactly what NVIDIA is trying to pitch. NVIDIA is trying to pitch Grace Hopper super chips designed for accelerated generative AI for full um, in inference to training. And this chip has just gone into production, which means they started making the chips. So soon computer providers, like computation providers will be able to use it. And one of the greatest thing about it is because it offers GPU and CPU, all together in single machine that can accelerate your inference and training, we can see our organizations hosting their own models. And that's exactly what NVIDIA's Vice President of Accelerated Computing, Ian Buck has said, generative AI is rapidly transforming businesses, unlocking new opportunities and accelerating discovery in healthcare, finance, business services, and many more industries. With Grace Hopper super chips in full production, manufacturers like computing manufacturers, like you know, all these companies like Acer, Dell, Razer, and all these companies, manufacturers worldwide will soon provide the accelerated infrastructure enterprises need to build and deploy generative AI applications that leverage unique proprietary data. And this is another very important factor. I think this is a choice that a lot of companies are going to make that. Do I always want to depend on OpenAI as an API call? Because not a lot of industries can send their data to another different data. Imagine you are a high frequency trading company. Will you send your data or do you even can afford to send your data to OpenAI, get it done and then get it back? Most people will not do it. But that is exactly the industry where NVIDIA is targeting Grace Hopper super chips because now if, whether you are a high frequency trading company or whether you are just a healthcare company, whether you are a 
uh, company that has proprietary data now what you can do is within your premises like on prem you can build and deploy build and deploy not just building build and deploy generative ai applications using your own proprietary data you don't have to look for open ai imagine you have got falcon like 40 billion parameter model you can literally use 40 billion parameter model falcon build your own version because you can fight unit you don't have to pay money for anybody and then deploy it also for your companies to use this is going to be mind blowing if ever this becomes actually real and people start using it it's going to find a really good use case in uh, ai and hpc application but they have also got good partners they've got cloud partners which uses aws uh, sorry which are aws uh, google cloud microsoft azure so you see all these big companies are already partners and that's where the moat for nvidia is doesn't matter whether google wins it doesn't matter whether open ai wins it doesn't matter whether azure wins whoever wins nvidia actually wins because that's where accelerated computing is and uh, nvidia is actually making sure that everybody has access to this massive massive chip for their data centers because if you have heard about jensen uh, the ceo co-founder of nvidia speaking their idea is that can we replace the existing data centers which is a cpu only data centers to accelerated computing which is a gpu power data center and that's exactly what nvidia is trying to do with this grasshopper chips so i will link all the uh, links in the youtube description the press release the technical sheet and what is the advantage like you can see the comparisons benchmarks in the youtube description please check it out let me know what you think about it could this be the largest gpu in the world i think that's what jensen mentioned when the, this was launched that this is like a single unit one of the largest gpu that has been available uh, not yet available but at least um, as a product in it itself so let's see how this is going to do and how the industry is going to um, adopt this and uh, and i think this is going to accelerate ai growth and research further more and not just in the research phase but also commercialization of ai the only thing that i am more excited than this chip is quantization um, because now when you start doing quantization you don't need you know super chips to do all these models run the model fine tune the model but you can rather do it in like a lesser G lesser memory gpu or a consumer grade gpu in itself or in fact cpus so let's see how that world is going to do so it's be really interesting to see the number of quantization paper coming out and nvidia's stock price like i i always wanted to do this trend between quantization papers and nvidia stock trend to see if that has any impact in this but overall nvidia once again has promised to deliver something completely out of the world for accelerated computing with ai and hpc as their application see you in another video happy prompting